And Morthina, go crazy for your next act. I love her. Welcome to the stage, Jen Fricka. Hi. Oh my God, it's so nice to see you all. I'm so glad we decided to do this. You guys look great. Um, my name is Jen Fricker. I don't know if we've met before, but uh, if we haven't, you might notice I've got like an ethnically ambiguous thing going on with my face. Um, I can give you angles up in the... It's pretty cool. <laughs> Men on the internet like to say I look like a female Elon Musk, so... <laughs> No, uh, it's a bloody delight to be here. Um, I don't know what you guys were up to last year. Uh, me, a lot of travel um, and just getting out and about. No, um, I was inside uh, just trying to like rethink my brand, you know? I'm tired of being Australia's sweetheart, if I'm being honest. I never asked for it. Um, <laughs> so I decided I'm gonna like rebrand. I'm gonna be like edgier now. I wanna be an edgy person, like an edgelord. I wanna be one of those people on the internet who's like, everything you like is fucked and everything I like is sick, like and subscribe. You know those people? They usually have like a radio show or a YouTube channel or... I wanna be one of those people. They seem like I can like make money from having shit opinions. So uh, I've decided I wanna be one of those people. I've decided to rebrand. I thought I'd do some like new edgy political material for you tonight. Is that what you guys came here for? <laughs> I heard like a thousand buttholes just go like... <laughs> No, we'll give it a go. I'm just, I just, there's a bit of like character work in it, so I just kind of have to like warm up to it. Give me a sec. Okay. I gotta look. <laughs> it might be to make some noise if you're tired of the lies! A lot of you very cool with the lies. A lot of you like, we love it. We love the Matrix, bitch. Uh, you guys need to get on board, all right? Let's get some edgy, uh, okay. And more theatre, make some noise if you're tired of the lies. Yeah, man, fuck the lies, man. I'm tired of the fucking lies, man. I'm tired of fucking society's lies. I'm tired of society lying to me day in, day out, telling me that Mexican food is fun. Can we just be humans for a second? Can we be real with each other? Mexican food's not fun. It's very stressful. Because there's no clean getaway from Mexican food, is there? There's always a salsa or a cream fucking your shit up. You can be walking along the street two weeks later, run your hand through your hair and be like, Mexican, right? It's always there. It's always lurking. And you have to have Mexican food in a social setting. You can't have Mexican food for one. That's a suicide note. Stick your head in the oven next to the hard shell tacos, the police will be like, oh yeah, fair enough, case closed, right? You have to have Mexican food in a social setting, right? But my problem is, I hate my friends. They're the worst fucking people in the whole world. <laughs> but I'm 31 and I can't start again, right? So every single week I get a text from these wenches just being like, guess what, bitch? It's Taco Tuesday, bitch. $2 taco Tuesday with tequila shots, wow! And I go because I'm frightened. And Mexican food in a social setting like that, it's kind of like what I imagine an F45 class to be like, you know? Just the worst fucking cunts all in one room, all just yelling nonsense at you, being like, yes, queen, go, queen, do it for the gram, woo! And you're just in the middle, shaking and trembling and feeling humiliated, and then on the way home, you take a weird shit. That's Mexican food, and it's brave of me to say it, frankly. Like and subscribe. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know, it doesn't work. Look, I, I don't know about you guys, but like, I feel like we're friends now. Um, I feel very loving energy from you, and I, I'm humbled by that. I, um, I just like, I guess I kind of want to know, it's like something I've been thinking about a lot and maybe you guys can just be like vulnerable with me. What are we all doing with our old vibrators? Like when we're not using them anymore? You burnt out the motor. Like what do we all, what do you do with them? Like how do you dispose? I'm not asking for me. I'm not like, I don't want them. Not like the Pied Piper of old dildos. Like, ah, give it a die. 
I'm um, just wondering, like, what do we, what do we all do? It's just like, you know, it's this the animal theatre, it's in a West, we're all very environmentally aware. Like, what do we do? It's a lot of plastic and, like, batteries, you know what I mean, to just be tossing away. I was in a predicament recently uh, where I had to throw out a vibrator I'd bought in a relationship that I'm no longer in. It was a long-distance relationship. It was one of those vibrators where they can download an app and they can control it and you can have sex from far away. Um, and I was like, uh... <laughs> And, and then when they broke up, right, like I was like, oh, we need, I, it feels weird to hold on to it, you know what I mean? I want to throw it away, right? But it was an expensive vibrator. Like, I don't want to brag, but it was $350, right? That's a lot of money to just throw away. Like, in Sydney, that's a bag, right? Like, to just throw it away <laughs> economically does not make sense, right? So I held on to it, and then I got into another relationship, another long-distance relationship. Uh, Cause I don't fucking learn my lesson, um, and then I was like, well, I may as well pitch it, right? So I was like, hey, babe, I have this vibrator, and if you download this app, you can control it, and we can have sex from long distance. And he was like, did you just buy this? And I was like, mm -hmm. I love you, baby, you're the only one, <laughs> right? So one night we're doing it, right? He's on the app, like blah blah blah. I'm like, whoa, um, <laughs> that's why we all do it, um, right? And he's, and then, and there's like a message function in the app, so we're messaging each other. He's like, do you like that? And I'm like, yeah, cowboy emoji, water drop. I don't know, I was busy, right? And we're messaging each other. And then I get a notification that says, a third user has entered the chat. <laughs> Turns out my ex hadn't deleted the app. And he was just getting a literal blow by blow of what was going on. It's kind of like a bummer of a story, but this is the story of my first threesome, so. Um, you guys have been great. I've been Jen Fricker. Have a nice night. Bye.